So it is suspension time. <clears throat> this car is back in the garage again and it's got a couple of issues that I need to address. I'm going to be replacing some suspension things. So this bushing is the hardest of them all. It's the lower control arm inner, which is a rubber type of a bushing with a well, aluminum and rubber construction and uh, yeah I guess that's the hardest bushing to replace as far as I can tell and it's really visible this bushing is distorted it's squashed on this side and has more of a gap or space on the opposite and that's mainly what happens so when I said that this is the hardest bushing to replace on these cars I meant this so I've got my press out tool set up it's really tight and not nothing is budging this is really tight I think everything is just corroded and there, that's, that's a lot of a surface to corrode together so it all fused I guess so at this point I have a couple of options I can try introducing some heat to to the subframe where the bushing is pressed in or I can remove this tool and try I guess just drilling out the inner the core and uh, I guess burning out the leftover so today is another day yesterday wasn't such a good day I didn't have much of a progress and run into a roadblock really with this bushing removal but there is a progress that I can report the back uh, part of this fixture I switched to this kind of solid 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 cup type of a whatever that is instead of using trying to use this and it's uh, it seems that it helped so what I'm going to do is make a line here and and I will start turning this wrench Amazing lit. Uh, but there is a movement. So I suppose I can get in front of the camera because this way I can have more leverage and so on still tight but I think I think this bushing is going going out so I decided to do a bit of a check-in removed all the parts of this fixture and uh, here's how much of the bushing is out now and my press out tool is uh, is not getting locked in I guess what I didn't do is I never showed how to really set this extraction tool up. So basically here's the bushing, here is this part. Slide it in. Well, let me demonstrate. So this new bushing is actually going to fit inside of the... Well, not the new, but the bushing fits inside of this, like so. goes on from this side this push up goes in from this side and there is a knot on this side like so and then you just start turning this and just keep turning until uh, 
until this old bushing is out of the subframe. You can also use a ratchet. It helps tremendously. That's me having a serious face, doing a serious job. My hand is really getting tired. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I think something is really getting stuck. Uh -huh. So here's the the old bushing. Now I can clean this up a little bit and uh, and install the new bushing. So now we are at a point when we can install the new bushing, this new bushing into the subframe. It's this stupid split outer ring design bushing. So before pressing it in, it needs to be compressed closed. And I'm going to, since I don't have the proper tool, I'm going to try and use these T-bolt clamps. So this gap is pretty much closed as far as I can tell. I don't know if this will work or not, but that's the general idea, I guess, how this should work. And uh, I'm going to put this in like so, have some kind of, a, I don't know, something like this in the back to start it. And then, what else? Have something on the outside, probably my favorite. Gold looking, well this is copper. Push tool, put it, well maybe this one. And run that screw through this and uh, start turning it. So I got my setup. Something is going. I suppose at this point I can remove this first clamp. Maybe actually I can remove both of them. Oh, two inch clamp. Well, maybe I can remove the second one too. If this thing opens up too far. Wrenches are falling. Maybe I should close this one so the bushing is not really opened up. I think it's going. Let's work out. So there is about a quarter of an inch of the bushing still exposed on this end, so that's how far it should go in into the subframe. And to finish this job, I got this hollow uh, receiver cup, whatever it is, on this end, so the bushing has. So this part, the inner, the inner tube of the bushing has a place to go, and uh, let's hope uh, I can get this in and finish at least something today. So I suppose it centers something like this, and. Uh, I hope it's not too far in. So I think that's where it should be. Well, the job is done, at least this part. At least this bushing, I should say. Yeah, I think, like I said, this is the hardest of them all in my opinion. So we have successfully replaced 
one bushing which took me like two days that's pretty much it for now so I'm doing the other side left side in this case I just wanted to capture this oh come on I was making this noise that's how rusted or tight it is I kind of think I need to do this on my car also although my car is a little bit newer so it might not be as rusted if you get a torch or a really good heat gun you can heat up the the subframe the this ring that is welded onto the subframe that holds the bushing and that usually helps on a scale of difficulties from like 0 to 10 this would be I don't know 8 something like that by the way this is the best ratchet that I ever had in my life I had a few different ones in my life that I used and this one is made in Germany super comfortable really small head I like it a lot let's have a look it's a lot of oxidized metal and uh, ugh. look at that 